Okay, so here we have a problem for horizontal curves, which are circular curves. You're given a radius of 5,000 feet and a central angle of 56 degrees. Figure out all the other parameters for a circular curve. So what we do is pull up our equations we can get from any standard reference. The first one's the tangent distance, second one is long chord, third one is external distance followed by the middle ordinate. So just crank those out, straight, simple, kind of a thing. And when we get to the length here, L, what we're looking at is the lineal distance along the arc. And the equation for that, as you can see here, the equation is the radius times the central angle, the two things that were given to us. But if we just multiply those straight, we get strange units. We get foot degrees, and that doesn't mean anything. So we have to convert the degrees into radians, and that's what this term is. And so we wind up with 4886.92. Now I wanted to show you this one because it's kind of uh, necessary that I step you through at least these bits. But I really want to move into the next piece, which is kind of a demonstration of stationing. Okay, stationing. So let me change my drawing to a color here. So for that same curve that we were looking at, the distance between the point of curvature and a point on the back tangent with a station of 152 even is 7821.20. Find the station of the PC and PT. Now your first thing that you say is, well, where's my sketch? You don't get one. Okay, you have to draw this thing. So in my solution, I've done this. I've actually interpreted what they've given me. So what this thing says is that I have a curve. I have some tangents. They tell me that there's a point on the back tangent. So what I'm going to do is figure out stationing. And I'm just arbitrarily going to say that stationing goes left to right in this direction which means I'm going to put my point of curvature here, my point of tangency or end curve right here. I'm also going to note that the problem statement, if I can back up to it, says distance between the PC right here and a point on the back tangent. Now the back tangent is this piece here because it is back station. So it says I can go back there to a station of 152 even, and that that distance along that back tangent is 7821. That's what they're saying right here. They would like me to now find out what the station is at the PC. And then they want me to figure out what the station is over here. So I just drew this up. So here's what I did. I'm taking the given 152. I'm going to add on this distance, but in stationing notation. Now remember, a station is 100 feet. So how many stations do I have here? 78 plus a little bit more, right? So I'm going to take the 152 plus 00.00, .00 that I'm given. The tilde here is shorthand for plus zeros, OK? So I just extend those out. I'm going to take 78 plus 2120, because that's what this uh, value is in stationing notation, and sum them up. So the station of my PC is 230 plus 2120. Now I have to figure out the station at my end curve or point of tangency point here. How do I do that? Well, on a horizontal curve, a circular curve, the stationing is along the arc itself. So if I knew how long that was, I could just add that on to station 230 plus 2120. That length there, I actually do know from the previous problem. It is right here in red. It is 4886.20, or 4886.92, I beg your pardon. So, returning, I'm going to take my 230.2120, which is this guy here. I'm going to add on that lineal distance in stationing notation around here. And you'll notice I drew it on there, 4886.92. And I come up with a station for this endpoint here of 279 plus 08.12.